Hi again. Last round of how we've taken this mint green dresser into a new dimension and given it some, some new character in life with um, chalk paint and wax. And in the previous videos I showed where I was uh, putting on the white paint, I, I applied it with my hand, I applied it with a brush. And after I, I thought about it a little bit longer, I thought, you know, I, I would really like a little bit more of the white to, to show. And um, so I'm also going to show you a, another trick that I've learned uh, along the way over the years um, that, that I really like to do that really gives a, a, some interesting dimension and depth uh, to your color and to your paint. Um, I will take the, the clear wax and the wet white paint and mix the two together. And I am actually in this particular video, I'm using my hand to mix the two together. Um, you can also take and put your wax in a bowl and you know just scoop some out into a bowl and then scoop probably an equal amount of paint into the bowl, mix the two together, and you can apply the wax and the paint directly over, in this case, this drawer, just as you would have maybe just the paint. And even though um, it's a little bit different technique, it's still, it's, it's throwing off the, the same look that I was achieving just with uh, the white paint alone. But um, you could actually save yourself the, the two steps if you mix the two products together. And so I kind of wanted to show that, that you, you can do this a couple of different ways. Um, and it, it really is fun. Um, don't be scared to mix paint into the wax. Um, you're, you're going to end up sealing your paint with wax anyway. And how fun is it if you can actually make different colored waxes? Um, and again, this one, this particular one, I, I'm not putting the French linen into the wax. I'm using the pure white into the wax. Um, and that's just going to give it a really interesting, um, almost a marbled effect to the piece. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate exactly what I mean um, when I say to mix the wax and the paint into a bowl. And I, I, I have my, my bowl that I've used the paint in even from yesterday. And what I've done is I'm going to scoop out um, a little bit of wax and I'm just gonna use a, a plastic spoon and I'm going to put um, some wax into the bowl. And then I'm going to take and pour uh, a small amount, not even really a small amount, it, it, it's almost equal amounts of wax and paint. Now, if you want just a, a, a slightly white wax, you could use a whole lot less paint. But uh, in this case, I was just really liking the, the more white over the French linen. And that's, again, a, a personal preference thing. And so my ratio of paint to wax is, is almost half and half. And I'm gonna swirl it around a little bit in my bowl. It looks like a big gloppy mess. It does feel like a big gloppy mess, but um, it's going to go on and I think you're going to see um, what, an interesting, what an interesting look you can get um, with just the wax. And so I'm gonna demonstrate this over the side of the dresser first. And again, even though I've done the drawers with a little bit different technique, overall the look is, is pretty much the same and you can actually save a, a, another whole step if you mix the two products together. Um, and so I'm gonna just get the wax on, um, not just, I'm, I'm usually trying to go with the grain of the wood. So in this case, I'm, the grain of this particular piece is, is moving down and then the trim is going the opposite direction. And I'm gonna go ahead and just paint it on. I'm pushing it in pretty good. Um, and then I'm going to take a towel and wipe back all of the excess wax and paint. And so the, the, the main thing to take away is use a brush to get into all the cracks and crevices, get into all the grooves, and push it, really push it into that, into the groove of your piece. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and just use an old dish towel in this case. Um, you could use an old t-shirt, you could use my handy sock trick again, whatever your preference. This case, like I said, I'm, I've got a, a quite a large surface area, so I'm gonna use uh, just an old dish towel, just a soft cloth. Uh, it, it's really not a, not a big deal of what you use. 
And I'm just gonna go ahead again and wipe with the grain of the wood in this case to just get the, the look that I want. And really it's, it's kind of just throwing off a marbled effect. And I'm gonna do this in small sections over, over the whole body of the dresser, or you could have done the drawers the same way. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish the, the side of this dresser and wipe back all of the excess wax. And again, it's it's just into a look that that I feel that that I like. And I'm looking for kind of an old world marbled, almost to me, it's almost starting to look like a, a cement um, architectural type of uh, carved carved piece at this point. Uh, definitely a, a dramatic change from the mint green and gold that we had in the beginning. So now that I've um, finished putting with the wax brush and wiping back uh, the white paint with the wax over the body of the dresser, all the drawers have been done, I've done the top. Now I'm gonna take a clean sock and I'm going to go right back over everything that I put on and continue to wipe and buff and be double sure that I don't have any sticky areas, uh, any tacky areas. And I'm just gonna kinda keep waxing and buffing and making sure there's, there's no excess wax left on the piece. And I'm gonna use my other hand to make sure that it's very smooth and a very, just a very nice, clean um, touch. I've buffed um, with the sock quite a bit into a, a nice smooth finish. Now I'm going to go back over some of this hardware and I've got just a nice fine sanding block, not, not too gritty, not too heavy. And I'm going to kind of wipe back over the, the hardware to see if I can bring a little more life into it. If you'll remember the original hardware, it had a lot of paint on it. It, it had a sort of a gold color to it. And by rubbing back uh, with a little bit of sandpaper or a sanding block, you can actually reveal some of the, the metal uh, uh, back through the piece. And really, I've kind of just stood back and looked at this piece and thought, um, I would really like to see a little bit more um, dimension or pop to the hardware. I'm not super satisfied with the way it looks. And while I'm at it, I'm also gonna kind of go over um, the high edges and just kind of knock back any hard paint that might be there. This is what most people are going to call a distressed look, although I'm barely rubbing and, and I don't prefer a very distressed look. And so if any, if any paint knocks back at all, it's gonna be only a really slight natural amount. Um, I'm definitely not going to rub, rub hard into the paint. And I'm only gonna take the block over the high edges and just kind of knock back what would naturally fall off if the piece were actually, you know, 100 years old or whatever. Um, but really, this is just a very fine sanding again, and it's not something you even have to do. This is just something I prefer to do. I think it also adds a little more character to your piece. Um, we've already got the French linen and the pure white, and now that if you add an additional layer of a little bit of sanding, you can reveal the original wood if you want, which would throw a third color into the mix. Um, which just really starts to make some interesting character to your pieces rather than just flat colors washed over the surface. Okay, now that I've um, completed my project in the garage, I always bring my piece into my house and I try to decide, um, I still wasn't super satisfied with the way the hardware looked painted and so I've got some other tips that I can, I can use to bring back the hardware to life. And so what I've got, I've got a couple of things. I've got Baroque Art Gilding Wax, 
which is just a really incredible product. Um, it's a wax product that's metallic that you can just buff on with your finger over anything, really. You can buff over the metal, you could have buffed over the paint, you could buff over the edges. But in this case, I'm going to take and just kind of give this hardware some life. Um, I feel like it looks a little too flat in my house, it looks a little too flat in the space that I, that I want it to live in my entryway. And I've got a really nice piece of art uh, with a gorgeous gold gilt frame hanging over the buffet. Um, and so I'm going to kind of pull some of that color from the framework. Um, and I, I just happen to have, um, an antique gold product of Baroque art gilding paste. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and just do each piece of hardware with my finger, as you can see, and get in as good as I could. Um, I'll probably end up using a small brush or a toothbrush to, to get really get into the cracks of it. But I'm going to just kind of put some on. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to look at it and, and see what it starts to speak to me as far as do I need less or do I need more. So I've kind of come to the conclusion that um, I'm going to need a little bit of a toothbrush to get in a little bit harder into the, the cracks of this hardware. And so literally I have just an old toothbrush that I'm going to take and use to polish into the, the hardware and I'm just going to rub a little bit on the brush and then onto the hardware um, and just get it to the, the color that I want. And again, total personal preference. You can do as much or as little as you want. Um, these waxes come in a variety of colors. They come in silver, they come in gold, they come in mixed, they come in black, green, patina. Um, you can purchase them online. Um, but I just, I just find that they're super fun products to use and um, they're, they're actually super durable. The wax dries pretty much instantly and it does not come off on your hand. So it's a really long lasting product, especially when used in conjunction with this particular chalk paint. So gonna end this by showing you how I have pulled the whole look together. We've moved the piece into my entryway. I have added some great lamps. I've added a collection of some of my favorite decorating books. I went ahead and put my very favorite classic um, turquoise food dogs um, just to give it some color. But um, as you can see, uh, sometimes the pieces in the garage um, they just don't quite exude the personality that they should. But then when you get them in your house and uh, Kitty has approved and the painting works and the chair works and it all goes together, um, you just, you have an outstanding creation. And um, I really appreciate everyone that has tuned in to watch this particular series of of furniture painting videos and I hope that you will come back for more as I um, explore some more artistic details of what I have learned with chalk painting over the last few years.